Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal for those of you who are new here and on this channel I talk about all things fashion and lifestyle. If you're not new then welcome back. Um, so in today's video I'm going to be coming with you guys with my you know monthly $100 outfit challenge and today I am at the thrift store. So this is the thrift store edition. I thought this would be fun. I, I feel like I'll probably be able to get more than one outfit with $100 at a thrift store. So we'll see. Um, I'm at um, a thrift store by um, out by where I live. It's called um, the Value Village. I decided to come here because I donate at Goodwill. So I thought, let me patronize, you know, um, another, you know, a different thrift store because I'm yeah i donate at a goodwill so um i feel like i'll probably run across some of my old stuff that i gave away at the goodwill if i go there so i was like let me go to the value village here where i live because i don't i don't donate to this store so not that i have anything against and it's just i'm just so used to donating at goodwill um so yeah so i'm here and i'm gonna see what i can find i don't have anything particular on my mind that i want to get um it would be nice if I can find like a suit or something that would be nice because I love suiting so that would be you know fun if I can find a suit or I don't know um, a blazer some blazers maybe uh, maybe some you know jeans I love you know what like the wide leg jeans or some like wide leg trousers um, that's kind of like what I'm into um, so hopefully I can find those things I don't know this may be a fail and I may not be able to find anything um, but I'm gonna see what I can do um, as it as it pertains to like footwear um i don't think i'm gonna get any footwear in here because yeah i just i just don't know we'll see i'll look i'll look you know i'll give it the good old college dry and look and see if i could find any um shoes but yeah more than likely i'm not gonna get any shoes i'll probably just stick to like clothing pieces and maybe i'll see if i can find like some jewelry you know accessories um or some uh, like handbags or something so We'll see how it goes. But yeah, so you guys are gonna come along with me and um, when we're done, I'll show you this stuff. I'll probably just show you this stuff in the car um, cause I got a lot of running around to do today. So um, I'll show you this stuff in the car and then when I get home, I'll actually put the looks together and um, you know show you guys the looks actually together. So, um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go in here real quick and see what I can see. And yeah, I will see you guys shortly. the jackpot like look at this huge this huge bag so um i got the things that i got they're kind of long and it's hard to really you know show you guys the pieces um in the car so i'm gonna wait till i get home and show you guys the pieces and i may style them up one of the pieces i'm gonna like do like a diy type of thing so um i may just like i don't know i may DIY it when I get home and see how it does how it goes but yeah one of the pieces, pieces is gonna be like a DIY thing I'm gonna do so yeah so I've got a few more errands to run so I'm gonna do that and then I will show you guys what I got from the thrift store I did really really good like yeah we'll get into it later but yeah I did really good so all right so I will catch you guys back later all right guys so I am back from the thrift store and I want to share with you guys all of the goodies that I picked up I really racked up at this thrift store. I mean, 
yeah I did really good so um, let me just show with you guys what I got I didn't get like any a lot of accessories I didn't get any shoes because yeah I just didn't really see any shoes that I wanted but I did get um, a little one accessory so I'll show that to you first and so I got this little bag here this little red like baguette kind of style bag and this bag was $3.49 so I just wanted something to you know add to the look but I really like this bag it definitely goes in with the trend of like the baguette bags you know the baguette style bags that are super popular right now especially like with Fendi and so I thought this was cute I love like the kind of patent leather on it and it does have like a few little scratches and whatnot on it but it kind of just kind of adds to I think the character of the bag so and this was had an orange tag so this wasn't um on sale like some of the purchases or some of the pieces had um like different tag on them which you know got me an additional you know percentage off so I'll get into that but the orange tag did not so which is fine but $3.49 I think it's still a good price for like a little you know nice little bag it's a cute like I can wear this bag like to run errands because it's just like a little shoulder bag so I can use this bag to run errands or also you know it can double for like a nice like date night bag so um but th the thrift store is a good place to go to get like these like little you know shoulder bags or like these little baguette style bags um that are you know really trendy right now so and this just it has so much room in it as you can see and this is from the brand worthington which i think is a jc penny brand if i'm not mistaken but it's, it's still a nice quality handbag you know i don't have a lot of red handbags the only red handbag i have is my one from coach and it's kind of bulky so this one is kind of a little smaller a little more minimalistic so um, but yeah, so looked up, I looked through all the handbags and this is the only one that I saw that I really liked. So, um, so yeah, so I got that. And then the next piece I got, um, it's just a little t-shirt. I just love like the, um, saying on it, it says empowered women, empower women. And I just thought that was just so, such a good saying, right? Like, you know, it, we as women should empower each other instead of bringing each other down. So, um, you know, all for that. So this again was the red tag. Um, and this was 369 and I'm not sure if I got a percentage off with this. Yeah, I did. I got 50% off this. So I only paid a dollar and 84 cents for a t-shirt and it's just a graphic tee. Um, and you'll see why I got this in just a second, but yeah, I love graphic tees and I love tees like this that, um, definitely kind of like show, you know, women empowerment. And so, yeah, I really like this tee and this will be, be nice to wear, um, with another piece that I'm going to show you guys in a second. All right, and then the next piece I got, if you guys have been following me, then you know I love some Ralph Lauren, and I racked up, well, I did pretty good um, with the Ralph Lauren pieces, and I actually saw more, but I had to like reel it in and be like, girl, you don't need any more of these type shirts, but uh, when I see them, I just get them, and so it's this t-shirt, or this um, button-up shirt here, and this is by Ralph Lauren, and I think this one is fairly new, because this tag looks um, like one of their new tags here. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but yeah, this is from Ralph Lauren and I got this in an extra large and this was $5.69. So this was not on sale because it's the orange tag on it. Um, but $5.69 for a Ralph Lauren, you know, button up shirt is perfect. Like, and of course all these pieces I got in the men's section, um, besides the, um, handbag and the t-shirt, everything else is from the men's section. Cause that's just kind of where I go when I go thrifting. Um, I haven't been thrifting in a long time actually. Um, but you know, now that I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get back into it. So, um, for me, I always go straight like to the men's section cause that's where all the goodies are girl. So, um, but yeah, so I saw this shirt and it's kind of like in this kind of pink, kind of purpley kind of color and it has like a little polo symbol here on the side. So yeah, I think this is fairly new cause it looks in really good quality in really good condition. Um, no stains, no holes or nothing. So this is a really good shirt for $5 girl for a Ralph Lauren shirt. Like we know these can run anywhere between one to $200. So, and it's just really nice, good quality. So glad I found that at the thrift store. So, um, yeah, that can, I can style that with pretty much anything. I can wear that in the summertime with some, you know, denim shorts or I can wear it now with jeans or some trousers. So. Um, the next piece I got, speaking of Ralph Lauren, is another Ralph Lauren shirt. Um, and it's this one here in like this kind of plaid kind of print. Um, and I really love the colors of this. It has like red and blue, navy blue in it and yellow. I just really love this one. Um, I think I have it inside out. So let me, let me actually fix this for just a second. 
So I had some plans with this one. Um, I think I'm gonna DIY. I remember I told you guys I'm gonna do some DIY with one of these pieces, and this is the piece that I think I'm gonna DIY. Um, but this is from Ralph Lauren, and I think this is an old brand or the older, like an older um, shirt, because this is the Ralph Lauren tag here, and so this isn't one of the new tags. So I think this is probably maybe vintage. I don't know, but anyway, it's in an extra large, and this one was $6.69, which is a little bit more pricey, but um, like I said, this is probably more vintage, so I don't know, maybe that's why the price is so big or so high, um, as opposed to the other Ralph Lauren. Um, but yeah, so this is just a big oversized shirt and this plaid, perfect for you know the fall and winter time. So, my plans is to crop this, so I'm gonna cut it so to kind of make it crop. Obviously, I'm not gonna do it too cropped, but you know, because cropped, you know, button up shirts, cropped everything is huge and trendy right now, so I was thinking. Because it's really long, um, I definitely can get away with wearing it now, um, as is. But I want to crop this and see how that how that looks. Because I've been seeing a lot of like like I said like cropped, um, like button up shirts. I don't have any, so I thought, why don't I just buy me some from the thrift store and DIY? So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do with this one. I'm gonna crop it or cut it. Just take some scissors and just literally just kind of cut this to the height that I or to the length that I want it. And I'm going to wear it with some of these, with these other pieces that I'm going to show you guys in just a second. But yeah, I really love this. And um, it's from Ralph Lauren. You can't really see the polo, little polo symbol on here. Um, actually, it's at, on the, uh, it's on the um, pocket because this has like a little pocket here. So, um, but yeah, so I love this piece. Um, if you didn't follow me, then you guys know I love Ralph Lauren. And I've been loving like green and navy, all those colors. So that's going to be nice to style up. All right, and the next few items, um, I told you guys when I was in the car that I, you know, look, I'm in there, I'm on a mission. I'm looking for suits because I love suits and I love a good structured suit. So I hit the jackpot with the suits as well. So um, the first suit I got is this one and it's kind of like in this gray, yeah, it's like a gray color. And yeah, so this is the pants to this suit. You obviously won't be able to see it like this from this view, but I will try these things on. Actually, I've already tried these on, and they all, everything fits me the way that I want it to fit. I didn't even, you know, try them on in the store. I just, you know, purchased them and, you know, brought them home and just kind of like, kind of played it by ear. And kind of, I did that trick where you take the, um, take the pants and kind of like wrap them around your neck to see if they'll fit. And if they do, just touch, then they fit. And that trick clearly works because these fit me just right they're actually a little high-waisted on me which is perfect so um but yeah so I just have these trousers and like I said they're like in this green or green <laughs> in this gray color because I've been loving gray too these will look perfect with um you know my gray uh, new balance shoes and I love these because you know that trend of like you know rolling down your um pants and having like the this part exposed these are actually, they just fit, so I won't be able to do that with these, but I feel like once I lose weight, or lose a little bit more weight, I'll be able to fold these down, and where the, this part here will kind of like show. I love that little, I love that little thing. A lot of pants and stuff from, or trousers from Zara have been kind of, you know, popping up on the website like that, so I like this. Um, and I got this in a size, says it was a waist 36, a length 32, so um i know from now on if i whenever i go looking for trousers in the thrift store i know to look for a waist 36 and a length 32 because these fit just perfectly on me so and this is the orange tag and so um i didn't get any you know amount off on these and i love like the pleating in the front here and then of course it came with the matching blazer and so here's the blazer it's just i think it's a double breasted yeah double breasted blazer just really good quality in the brand of this um, I don't know what the brand is it says tailored in USA from imported fabrics so I don't even know what brand this is like it doesn't even say um, oh Gatewick tailored clothing so I don't know maybe someone got this custom made for themselves I don't know but anyway it's really good quality it's not too thick you know it's not too thin so I feel like I can get away with you know wearing this throughout the you know throughout the season so um and this whole suit was 1869 so for a suit girl yeah like no i know way. i know why you get a suit like this for you know 19 dollars 
anywhere other than the thrift store so like i said i hit the jackpot with this and it's not too oversized it's just you know the perfect oversizedness for me and i love the gray color so perfect and it has like some shoulder pads as well so 18 dollars basically 19 if you add tax for a suit like you can't beat that with a stick so i am so excited that i was able to find a suit because they didn't have many um in the selection that i went through in the men's section like they only had a few and the ones that they did have i think they had like a blue one and some other colors too but yeah i wanted the gray one because i love gray and then this other one that i got um i love it too because of the color of it so let me show you guys this one and so this next one is this one I don't know off on camera it's kind of making it come off looking a little gray but this is like a like a dark green kind of like a hunter green color um I don't know if you guys will be able to see it but it does definitely a hunter green color like a dark hunter green kind of almost black and so yeah so these are the trousers and yeah I definitely love this this is the the tag is pink um so I think I got some money off of this let's see yeah i got 50 percent off so this suit was originally let's see 1869 so i paid nine ten bucks for a suit that i absolutely just love this one is not in the best quality as the other one which is why i think it was 50 percent off but you really can't really tell like you can see like a little bit of scuffing but it's nothing it's nothing too bad like it's still to me in my opinion good quality so here is the blazer that goes with it and this is actually from Joss, Joss, Joss or Joss A. Bank. I don't know, here is the tag here. So we know that is an expensive brand for men's clothing. Um, so that's pretty good. $10 for a, you know, designer, you know, or brand um, suit. So, but yeah, this is, it looks very tailored. It looks very crisp and very good quality. So really really love this one and even better that you know it was 50 percent off and at the time of me picking it up i didn't realize that it was going to be 50 percent off so glad i got it um and the trousers they are a little too they're a little big nothing too major no, nothing that i have to go get tailored or anything um because they they're not like high-waisted but they definitely are like i don't know they they fit me just right it's just like the crotch area is a little bit slouchy but um it's still fine so what i was thinking is that with this suit i was gonna wear you know this rock lauren shirt crop it and just you know wear this you know like this so we'll see i'm not gonna crop it today but eventually i'm gonna crop it and you guys will if you follow me if you not follow me which you should you'll be able to see um if i crop that shirt or not um but yeah for this for the sake of the triumph portion i am going to style that rock lauren um, shirt with these trousers and kind of show you guys kind of like my thought process um, with these looks so with that being said essentially I got two outfits so this was um, two outfits that I got with this um, with this uh, video because um, all my other outfit challenges I typically only do one outfit so with this I got two and I could even mix and match these two that I'm going to show you guys but um, so to get into how much I pay for everything so the grand total that's even like with the discount everything all the discounts i think i got two pieces um um 50 off so um with that i purchased everything for 48.95 so i don't know if you can be able to see the um you probably won't be able to see the uh receipt but yeah i paid 48.95 so basically almost 50 dollars for two outfits and two of those outfits are in their suits so yeah like i could have went in there and probably got more like i said i may have i may have gotten more suits but they didn't have a whole lot of selection so i just got the two that i liked the most so 48 dollars y'all for two outfits from the thrift store like the thrift store is where it's at like if you don't want to be out here spending your coin on a whole bunch of stuff that you know is not good quality or it's gonna you know you're gonna give away and you know what i mean like the thrift store is where it's at like yeah and these pieces are designer pieces like the ralph lauren and the joss you know the joss i think that's how you say it joss a bank are two good brands so you can't beat that with a stick fifty dollars for two outfits and i can even like mix and match these pieces and wear them other things in my closet i think that's pretty good so this by far has probably been my best outfit challenge out of all the ones that i've done and i think i've done three now 
Um, so out of all the ones I've done, this one, this one was definitely my big success because I racked up and only paid $50, close to $50. So, um, all right, so that's enough rambling. So we're going to get into the styling portion. I'm going to style these pieces up and show you guys the outfits that I got from the thrift store. And yeah, so let's get into the styling. All right, guys, and here is the first outfit. And I absolutely love this suit. Like I said, this suit was definitely made for me. And I don't know if you can really tell, but it kind of like curves in at kind of like at the waist. I don't know if you can see that, um, how it kind of like contours a little bit into the waist. And this is a men's style suit, so, or a men's suit. So most men's suits don't do that. They're more, most men's suits are a little boxy. Um, but this definitely kind of like curves in a little bit. Um, but I love this suit. It's, like I said, it fits me perfectly. Like I didn't even try this on in the store. I just took a chance and so um, it worked. So, um, but yeah, you can see it's in this gray color. And so I just paired it with the t-shirt, the little graphic tee, just um, for a little fun. And then of course the handbag and then the shoes. I just put on my Air Jordan 1s in the like silver metallic and black kind of color. Uh, just to kind of go with the black and the gray of this look um, but then i have the pop of red and i probably would further um like style this maybe with like a red lip just to kind of add a little bit more red to the look because my nails are red so that has a little bit you know adds a little bit of red and punch to the look and then yeah so i would probably pop on like a red lip and you know be good to go like i would run errands in this like definitely would run errands like this is definitely a very cute and just sophisticated just casual look i feel like um you know and it's kind of dressed down so um but yeah just perfect for you know right now in the fall and winter time so um and then i will further accessorize with just like some black um sunglasses these are my prada ones so just a cute look y'all like i love this look and i'm so glad this suit worked out perfectly for me so um, I couldn't have asked for it better. Like it's, it was definitely meant for me to get this suit when I went to the thrift store today. So, um, but yeah, you guys let me know how I pulled together this look. So, um, this probably, this whole look was probably what, maybe under $30 for this whole look. Cause the suit, as I told you guys, it was 18. This shirt I think was three. The handbag was like three or $4. So what under $30 for a whole look, like you just can't beat that. Um, so yeah, but you guys let me know what you think about this look and yeah, I'll show you the next look that I had in mind. All right. And here is the next suit and I'm sorry guys, it's starting to get dark. And so hopefully you guys will be able to see this suit styled up, you know, a whole lot better than here, you know, as I'm showing it to you now, but it's starting to get dark. So, um, but yeah, so this is that like hunter green suit that I was showing you guys and I absolutely love it. And so, like I said, I styled it with the uh, Ralph Lauren, like checkered print, um, button up shirt and so what I did is kind of cropped it myself as far as like I haven't like cut it yet but I just kind of like rolled it up a little bit and then kind of like tied it in the back to show you kind of like my thought process for this obviously once I cut it it'll be a little bit more loose if that makes sense right now it's kind of tight to me um, just because like I said I have it tight or like secured in the back um, because this is super long um, but this is kind of like how this is like my vision for this outfit was um, this button-up shirt from Ralph Lauren with this suit. So, and as you can see, again, this suit fits me perfectly. Um, and because like on the cuff part of the suit, of the um, blazer, it had like a little bit of, just a little bit of like imperfection. So what I did is just um, like rolled up the sleeve with the um, button-up shirt um, just to kind of cover that up. Um, and also kind of show a little bit more of the plaid of the button-up shirt. I just like that look. It's just very kind of makes it look more a little bit more casual. Um, and then as far as my footwear, I put on my um, Nike Dunks and like these, uh, I call them my clown shoes because they have like every color in the rainbow. But just to kind of bring out some of the, the colors in the checkered print shirt, like there's green in here, blue and yellow, and I have some of those same colors in the shoes. So I thought that would kind of go perfectly to kind of like bring out some of that color in the uh, shirt and of course i styled it with the bag because of the red so yeah i absolutely love this look love this suit so glad i picked it up and so glad it you know fits me you know perfectly like i said the pants i don't know if you can see are just a little slouchy but i kind of like that and they obviously they fit so they just fit um and i have room so they're not like tight or anything 
um, which I like because it kind of gives like that baggy look. And then of course they have the pleating here, but I love this suit, like love it. Um, which I hope you guys can see the actual color of it because the color is really nice. Um, it's in this hunter green color, so. But I like this look. You guys let me know what you think. Definitely something kind of out of the box, you know, for me. Um, and never would have thought to, you know, style this suit up in such a way, but I saw it in the thrift store and just had a vision and kind of went with it. So, um, but I love this look. It's definitely um, holiday appropriate. I could wear this um, like, you know, for a holiday party or something. No, nah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't wear this to a holiday party, no, but just around the holidays, like, I don't know, to go hang out somewhere, I'd wear this little outfit. So I just think it's just very holiday appropriate with the green and the reds and the colors in it. So, um, but I love this look. You guys let me know what you think about it. Um, I would further probably style this up with maybe one of my brooches that I have. I have a Chanel brooch, I have a YSL brooch, and I have a Gucci brooch. So I might, you know, probably would just style it up a little bit more with one of my brooches. Um, with this look, because it is kind of leaning on the casual side, I probably would even style this up with one of my um, Yankees caps. You know, just to further make this more of a casual and not like a businessy kind of look. Because I don't have a business, you know... Um, type lifestyle more my lifestyle is more casual so yeah um i would wear a baseball cap with this too so but i love this look you guys let me know what you think about it i think i like this one more so than the other one just because of how i styled it up but you guys let me know what you think i love the blazer it's like i said it's oversized but it's the perfect oversizedness for me um i like it because it's really long so but you guys let me know what you think about how i styled up this look and um, I'm going to show you guys that the last Ralph Lauren, Ralph Lauren shirt. Um, so I guess really we got three outfits out of this whole, out of this whole um, uh, challenge. So um, but yeah, so I'm going to style up that last Ralph Lauren shirt, and then we'll be done with the styling. All right, and here is the that uh, Ralph Lauren shirt, the um, striped one that I showed you guys, and I just popped it on with the um, first look that I showed you. So I just basically took off the blazer and just put on the button-up shirt. Just to show you that you can, you know, do lots of things with a suit. So, um, but I love this look. I just kept on the same, those same shoes that I had on. And this definitely is giving me like a casual vibe. Again, this is a look that I would wear to run errands. Just a cute look. And um, as far as my handbag, I would just, you know, use my um, Prada bag. This is the bag that I've um, been wearing today. So, just to kind of, you know, further, um, you know, style look up a little bit with the handbag. So, um, but yeah, I love this look again. It's just a very casual, just running errands type of look. If you, you know, want to look cute, you know, cute and chic and, you know, on trend. And yeah, I just love this look. I definitely love this shirt, um, this button up shirt. As you can see, it's long and oversized, which I love. And the shirt, the sleeves are actually really long too, which I love. But of course, it's kind of hot today. So I would probably just, you know, roll the sleeves up. But the sleeves are really long too. So, um, but this is how I wear this look um, with the uh, button up shirt and it's again like in this purpley kind of pink color so the shirt in itself is my little pop of color and everything else is just neutral and black and white and gray so but I really love this look you guys let me know um, what you think about um, how I styled it up basically I just took off the blazer from the first look and put on the um, button up shirt but definitely a cute look if I don't want to wear a blazer and I just want to wear a shirt so um, but yeah, so those are all the looks. Those are all the outfits. So what do we get? Three. We got three outfits out of this whole haul. And we can, all, you know, probably even do even more, you know, and style up these looks even more. So definitely a win-win. I definitely would call this challenge, $100 outfit challenge, a huge success. More so than any of the ones I've done. I literally got three outfits under $50. You can't beat that with a stick. Like, I, you can't go to H&M, girl. You can't go to, you know, um, where else? Zara. You know, you can't go to any of those places and get three outfits or three looks for $100 with the same pieces. Like, you probably could get, uh, you know, spend $100 on one look and style them up with the things, that, things that you already have in your wardrobe. But as far as, like, the same pieces to style them up three different ways, girl, no. Or style, or get three looks out of you know, a whole purchase. Yeah. You ain't going to do that nowhere else, but at the thrift store, which is why I love thrift. you know, I love to thrift. I used to do it a lot before COVID. And so, um, I'm thinking I may get back into it because if I can find any kind of way to look chic and cute 
and get good quality pieces like these are good quality pieces like if y'all seen my last one of my last um, hauls which is a Ralph Lauren haul I spent you know I could I spend more than fifty dollars on um, a shirt from or a cardigan from Ralph Lauren like they're expensive right but you can get them at the thrift store for like you know ten buck you know ten bucks at that um, and I got a whole whole look y'all for under a hundred dollars so I got three as a matter of fact as you saw so yeah thrift store is where it's at like I don't know why I've been sleeping on thrift store and you know spending all my money on you know bad quality stuff let me let's just put it out let's just put it out there a lot of the stuff that we get is not the best quality but if you go to the, the thrift store you'll more than likely find some good quality pieces at really affordable prices so I hope that you got some inspo from this video you know obviously I'm not going to be able to link anything but that's not the purpose of a thrift haul. The purpose of a thrift haul is to give you inspo. And the purpose of this haul is yeah, to give you inspo, especially the thrift store haul. It's to give you inspo, kind of get you to think outside of the box and try thrifting. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but if you're in a pinch or if you don't want to spend a lot of money or you want to find unique pieces, like I wouldn't find this graphic tee at you know H and MSR. I probably find something similar, but you know, everybody will probably have it, right? So you can get those one of a kind pieces at the thrift store and you know you'll be looking like you'll be looking tight you'll be looking fresh tight and fresh I know I'm telling my age by saying words like tight and fresh um, but yeah you know what I mean like use today's terms to <laughs> describe how you'll be looking okay you'll be looking what is the word I don't know you'll be looking fire I don't know is that word is that word old now I don't know but anyway you get the pick you get the point you get the point you'll be looking good girl um, if you just go to the thrift store and find you some pieces that nobody no, nobody else will have and you'll be looking stylish and chic and on trend because the thrift store is also a good place to get trans um, trendy pieces too like I showed that bag at bag so I am happy I am so happy and I think I'm gonna do more of these thrift hauls where I challenge myself to see what I can get for a hundred dollars um, I definitely could have gotten more because I spent only spent $48 on all those pieces so I definitely could have gotten more but you know I just was just really just trying to dip my toe in and see what I can see but if you guys would like to see more thrift hauls then let me know down in the comments because I definitely this is probably one of my favorite hauls that I've done in a long time I'm just gonna be honest with you um, because I'm happy with everything the quality is good and I'll have these pieces forever so um, but yeah, you guys let me know what you think. Which one of the outfits was your favorite out of the three that I showed you guys? I could have done more, but out of the three that I showed you guys, let me know down below which one was your favorite. So, um, but yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And like I said, got some inspo to kind of like check out your local thrift store. Go to the men's section. Get you a suit. Thank me later. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it. Thank you so much again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe because it helps my channel out. And I will see you guys in the next video. All right, bye guys.